So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question, just given the length of the question. Uh, translate word problem questions are typically greater than four lines long. And all, all I mean by translate word problem is uh, we, want to, we want to not read the entire question, stop at the end of each sentence, make sure we understand, understood what we read before moving on, and write down any quantitative information that we can as we go. So with this question, it says the normal systolic blood pressure, P, in millimeters of mercury for an adult male X years old can be modeled by the equation. Again, anytime I'm given an equation, I like to write it down. So P, which is the blood pressure, right, is equal to X, which is the age of the adult male, plus 220 divided by 2. So it's like age, it's like the average between age and 220. According to the model, for every increase of one year in age, by how many millimeters of mercury will the systolic, well, will the normal systolic blood pressure for an adult male increase? Well, there's a lot of things we could do here. One thing that we can do is plug in our own number. Right? I could say, well, let's say that this adult male is 25 years old. What would we, what would we expect to happen? I'd get P equals 25 plus 220 divided by 2, which turns into 245, 245 divided by 2. And then I go to my calculator and I see that 245 divided by 2 is 122.5. So that's, that's the uh, blood pressure now. But when that person gets one year older, they're now 26. So what's P? When the person is 26 years old, so 26 plus 220 divided by 2, and again, I get 246 divided by 2, which is equal to 123. So what happened, right? It increased by, right? It was a plus 0 0.5, which should be our correct answer. If you wanted to test it again, just to make sure, you could say, well, what happens at x equals 27? We do the same thing. We get 247 divided by 2 and you'd end up with 123.5. And hopefully at that point you say, okay, I'm pretty confident now that yeah, every time you add a year, you're adding this 0 0.5, which means 0 0.5 must be my answer. So I like that way, nothing wrong with that. It's a great method to use. Another method here, however, is this whole idea of um, how many millimeters of mercury will the normal systolic blood pressure for an adult male increase? For you know, for every increase in of one year, but how much? Right, that sounds a lot like slope to me. And even if it doesn't sound like the definition or description of slope to you, please take a better or a, another look at it, because understanding that this is slope that's being described will be beneficial on other questions. So because I think that it's slope, right? Because it's the, it's the increase for every one year. It's like a per year increase um, where X represents years. I'm going to look at this equation, P equals X plus 220 over 2. I'm going to convert this into a, like a Y equals MX plus B form. And the best way to do that is to get rid of this denominator of 2 here. And the best way to do that is to divide each thing by 2. So P equals X over 2 plus 220 over 2, which is the same as 1 half X plus 110, right? And because this is in the form Y equals M X plus B, and because the question is asking for M, I would be able to tell you that the slope or the difference, the change in blood pressure per year must be one half. So that same 0 0.5 is what I'd get.